Hello, welcome to Lovely Paper Crafters. I'm Melissa Monty Belafontaine, and I want to show you a simple um, card tonight. Um, and this is for someone who's hopefully my internet works because I've had um, I don't know everything updated, and I don't know I'm having issues with the internet disconnecting. <laughs> I don't know why. So here's hoping my video works, and hopefully you can see me. Um, anyways, um, and hopefully people can come on and talk to me, and hopefully I can see them. <laughs> anyways, um, so, sorry about not going on last night, um, I try to message as many people, um, either in my Facebook message or, um, the people who watch me online, um, afterwards, I try to message them just so they weren't waiting up for me. Um, but anyways, um, I had a severe migraine last night, so I went to bed at 4 o'clock when I got home from work, and then I slept until 11 o'clock, and then I woke up for an hour, and I went back to bed, and I slept till uh, 6 o'clock this morning. So, um, apparently I needed a lot of sleep, <laughs> and I've never done that before in my life. Hi, Willie, how are you? Um, I'm feeling much better, thank you. Um... Anyways, uh, so I want to show you tonight a really simple, so I'm going to show you the card, the card I got the inspiration from. So this was a card that I made um, for my launch party. So what I want to show today is that you can use um, the punch and the paper from the, just let me get the bundle's name, Ice Cream Corner Sweet. So that's on page uh, 48 and 49 of your cat, your uh, small catalog. So that's that one and this one here. And so what we're going to look at today is the paper that's on the bottom here and the punch. So we're not going to actually use the stamp set. So the punch is called um, the Ice Cream Cone Builder Punch and the paper is called the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series Paper. Um, so that's the two items we're going to use. And I'm just going to bring my camera down here. And hopefully we can see what I'm doing. Because sometimes my camera likes to not go in the direction that I want it to. As you guys know. There we go. Alrighty. So what I did first was I made a card base of Blackberry Bliss. Um, and then I'm going to use this paper as the background. So it's the um, ice cream cone. Soft serve is what I call it because it looks like the soft serve you would get from McDonald's. Um, and we're going to use a white piece of paper and then another piece of uh, Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And we're just going to take the punch. So that's the punch. And then I'm going to take four pieces of paper. And this paper comes in the pack. So there's this paper, which um, is we can use as the cone. Um, there's this paper we can use as the ice cream, so like a bluish green ice cream. And then there's this one that's a like purplish pinky ice cream. And then this one is kind of like an orangey yellow ice cream. So it gives you different colors. And so we're, we're, what we're going to do first is we're going to punch out the cone part. So I'm going to just take my punch. And if you can get this in the right direction, it kind of looks better. Because um, it looks better if you kind of have it uh, not all over the place and kind of the, the it going in the right direction kind of thing. So like that. If you do it sideways, it's okay. It still works out. Like this one here. They're kind of all sideways. So it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to try to not take up the whole ice cream on the paper. I'm going to try to get it so we can not use up a full sheet just for three ice cream cones. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here. And then we haven't used up too much of the paper, so I still have almost a full sheet left over. So we're going to make three of those. And I'm going to make a second one because I by accident went off the edge a little bit. So let me do that one again. There we go. So this one I just went off the edge a little bit, so I got it cut kind of funny. So there's those three. And then we're going to take the ice cream part of our punch. And we're just going to flip it over and we're going to find a part that we kind of think looks... I kind of like the pink and the orange together. So that's one of our ice creams. And then we'll do another one, maybe. Now these come in the 12 by 12 sheet, so you have more paper to play with. It's just that I cut them into smaller pieces when I was showing my, showing the paper. bit of this paper off a little bit. So I'm going to get that orangey, the orangey spot in the middle a little bit. When you have the full 12 by 12 sheet, you don't have to think about it. It just kind of, just find a spot and then you punch it out. So there's the, the pinky one, another pinky one. And then we'll do the green and blue one here. Let's do blue for this one. I didn't make any of them purple, which is kind of what my what I was going to do, but that's okay. It still still work out really well. Alrighty, so so this is the card we're gonna go for, and we're going to take our main base here. Oops. I'm trying not to lose all my pieces on the floor. I'm just going to move those to the side, and I'm going to tape or uh, paste this down with my, this is my stamp and Seal Plus. So we're just going to put that piece on. Hi, Jane. It does look like a waffle cone. No, there are two different colors. So the one side is a pattern and then the other side is the color. So this one has ice creams and then the cones. Um, this one has kind of waves and then the color. And then this one is uh, sprinkles. The one that I'm pasting down sprinkles and then the cones. So they come with all different colors. It's just that these are the this these three papers are the ones that I usually use for the ice cream because that's kind of what they're made for. 
So we're going to just paste that down. That's a good question though, Joan. Thanks for joining me. All right, so then we're going to do another piece of purple and white. So we're going to put the white right on top of the purple. And I just wanted to show that you can use the paper and the punch. And you don't have to have a um, Stampin, uh, Stampin, Stamp, no, a cut and emboss machine. And you don't need um, any framelits for this one. It's just all cutting and then punching with the punch. So it makes it a very much easier card and you could probably do a whole bunch of these in a very small period of time. So it's a little bit easier of a card. Okay, and then we're going to take our pieces and we're going to take our dimensionals and we're going to punch those up. So make them And then we're going to take our cone and we're going to put the cone underneath it. So we're going to probably put two for the cone. And then you're going to stick with the, this guy underneath this part. So it looks like it's going over top. So just like that. So there's one. And then we're going to put the per the bluey one in the middle. And I probably should have moved them over a little bit. But that's okay. They should still work out. I might have to smush them together a bit. Yep, I'm going to have to smush them together a bit. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to redo it, replace it. Just because... I didn't leave enough room. So we're probably have to gonna for this one knock the uh, go over the edges a little bit on either side. All right. So about there probably. There we go. And then we'll do that one next to it. It's always good to place your ice cream or place your pieces you're putting down before you start gluing down. Sometimes I just get carried away and start gluing and then you realize that you don't have any space to put the pieces. So it's good to uh, lay it out first before you um, stick it together. And again, we're just going to put one on the bottom and one dimensional on the top of the cone and then you're just going to slip it underneath again and then one more and there they all fit on there pretty good now alrighty just like that and then we have our cones are all done and then we're just going to take our glue I'm just going to move that up because you probably can't see what I'm doing when I'm that far back and you're just going to paste that down on the paper so it's a really really easy card to make um, all you need is the punch and the paper to do that one. Um, so you don't need a whole bunch of extra little gimmicks to do it. And then it looks like that when it's finished. So I'll show you the original. Um, the original I did, um, so I put the paper from the 
um, celebration, which is now over. I put that paper on the back, and then this is the paper that I used stuff down here for this one. And then I actually did stamp um, the little, uh, what are they called, sprinkles on top. So I did sprinkles on top, and then I did the cones again. So it looks similar, but this one I just didn't use any stamps. And that's it. Doesn't it look delicious, Jane? That's what I thought. Thank you, Joan. Thanks, everybody, for joining me tonight. And hopefully I will be back next Tuesday. Um, I think it's been the weather that's been causing me to have severe migraines. Like, I haven't slept that long in a very, very long time. So I don't know what kind of hit me. Um, not too sure. But hopefully, hopefully, by next week I'll have a new card. Um, there are a whole bunch of stamp sets that I still haven't played with yet. So here's hoping next week I have one of those um, to show you. Um, thinking this week of what I'm going to make. Um, so I have to think about that and see what I come up with. And um, we will see you next Tuesday. And that will be at 6 p.m. And that will be back here on Facebook. Thank you. Have a great night. And thanks everybody for joining me.